This is a true story. Okay, so I'll just start by saying that my dad is a character. All of my friends loved him growing up because he could entertain you just by talking to you. This attitude is what led me to question the legitimacy of this story for a very long time. Now that I'm a bit older, I could tell that this one cuts deep every time we ask him to tell it. Usually, he talks in a very upbeat, active tone. But when my brothers and I first heard him tell this story, or talk about it in general, his tone completely changes. It is as if the colour just rushes from his face. It's obvious he doesn't enjoy talking about it. On to the story. My father was 18 at the time. From pictures, he seemed like an athletic approachable teen. At the time, he was living in the Gary slash Whiting area of Northwest Indiana. Sometime later in the evening, my dad, who's been a smoker for roughly 50 years of his life, decides to hitchhike to his local convenience store, which is an odd thing to do, considering the shop was only a couple of miles away from his house. Eventually, a truck pulls to the side of the road. It was a baby blue pickup truck to be exact. Apparently there were two men in the truck, probably both in their 40s or so. Pretty normal. He said that the driver was a bit burly and sort of looked like Jackie Gleason. The truck was only a three-seater, so the man in the passenger side had to move over to the middle with no words spoken, apart from the driver asking where he was going. This didn't strike my father as odd, so he proceeded to sit in silence, not suspecting anything. When suddenly, out of nowhere, one of the guys randomly bursts into laughter. According to my father, this wasn't your ordinary laugh, but something much more diabolical. Surely enough, the driver looks at my father with what he claimed to be the devil's eyes, now chiming in with the laughter. As you can suspect, they began going a different route entirely. My dad knew that they were not going anywhere near the desired destination, and he was trying to play it cool, so he waited for a chance. And luckily, a couple of minutes later, they finally hit a red light. The driver slowly crept his arm across the cab and began to caress my dad's neck. I guess his fight or flight instinct kicked in and a surge of adrenaline came about. He unlocked the car door and bolted out, not looking back. He said that he had hid nearby in a local church and watched as they drove around looking for him. Some years later, my dad was watching the news when the mugshot of a man popped on screen. His heart sank. The man was undoubtedly the same guy who had picked him up whilst hitchhiking. That man was John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy was a serial killer. It is said that he killed between 33 to 34 people, but estimates speculate that it could be much higher. He would also dress up to entertain children as Pogo the Clown. It is because of this that he has earned the nickname The Killer Clown. He died May 10th, 1994 by lethal injection.